All set. Wow. What's up, you're watching Hi Mind, the most absurd show on the internet. My name is Riley, and as always, I'm joined by my watered-down co-host, Graydon. I'm deluded, and I won't be half as funny as I usually am. <laughs> Today we're making funny mashed potatoes. This is Guess, Guess the, the Songs, songs from, from the Mashup. All right, here's how this one's gonna work. DJ Grant's gonna play us a mashup. We're gonna have to guess what songs are being mashed up. One point for each one we get right. Me versus Graydon versus you. Scotty and Kennedy in Philly. Ooh, you guys seem to have a strong family unit. Not stronger than ours. No. <laughs> Alright, before we get into it, make sure you like the video, subscribe if you want to see more, HiveMindTV.com for our merch. Our Patreon is linked down in the description as well. It's $5 a month. Best way to support us. You get extra content and you get to play against us in the game. Shout out to Scotty and Kennedy. Last thing before we get into the game, today's video is brought to you by HelloFresh. Hello we'll tell you a little bit more about them later in the video. Thank you, HelloFresh. I love the food. <laughs> Don't sleep on food. <laughs> You'll get crumbs in your bed. Alright, first Mashup of songs, Grant. Let's hear the first one then. City talking, we taking notes. Tell him how to keep making posts. We should cook, but he can't get close. OG, so proud of me that he choking up while he made. Wow. God dang it. Jam, 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 fam, 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 fam. See, I can do all that, but I can't tell you the name of it. Bim, bim. Do you know the title of that beat? Absolutely. Really? Yes. It came right to you. I mean, it's one of the songs I hold nearest and dearest to my heart. Really? Yeah. Was it your parents' first song at their wedding? I wasn't at my parents' wedding. <laughs> you weren't invited? No, I had work. Three, two, one. Industry Baby and Crazy Frog? Oh, that's Crazy Frog? I put Industry Baby and Safety Dance? I don't know. It <laughs> sounds like a name. Yeah, this is Industry Baby and Crazy Frog. <laughs> that's Crazy Frog? Yep, it's Axel F by Crazy Frog. That wasn't a beat before Crazy Frog? Mm -mm. I read the history of Crazy Frog recently, though. Pretty awesome. Yeah. It was like a dude who was on uh, talk radio yeah. doing impressions of cars. Oh, yeah, yeah. That got co-opted into the idea. There was like some dispute between the guy who made the sound sounds and then like the guy who ended up making Crazy Frog and like the guy who did the impressions was like that wouldn't be the frog's personality or something. <laughs> <laughs> There's something. You, you just gotta look it up. Just look up the, the history of Crazy Frog, the origin story and it's pretty awesome. The frog would never do that. <laughs> <laughs> the frog's not crazy, he's misunderstood. Industry frog. <laughs> God, that bangs. I don't know the name of that song. <laughs> what I like about this is that it's, for me, two eras of being in friends' cars. Yeah. Ooh, I've got an idea. Yeah. Unvaccinated Santa. Hey, it didn't get approved by the FDA. I'm not taking it. <laughs> me and Mrs. Claus are safe up there. We don't see a lot of people, except for one time around here. One night. <laughs> I went out one night, and now I gave the whole world COVID? I deserve a night out. Three, two, one. Somebody that I used to know and woke up like this. Oh, uh, I put somebody that I used to know and yeet, yeah? Is that a song? This is Somebody That I Used To Know by Goat Ye and Woke Up Like This by Playboy Cardi. Yeah. yeah. Double down. It sounds like a yeet beat. Yeet beat. So, so far I've been able to identify vocals and not the beat. Justice for Kimbra. Cause I'm losing my sight, losing my mind. Wish somebody would tell me I'm fine. Oh, 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 oh. Losing my sight, losing my mind. This is tough. It's, it's just a memory game. This yeah. whole thing is a memory <laughs> game with like a funny premise. I'm it's trying, just, to, I'm trying to trigger myself. <laughs> yeah, I think I got it. Fuck you, man. I think I got it. <laughs> Fuck you, man. <laughs> Three, two, one. Headstrong and Rock Your Body. It is headstrong. I take you. I, I, I put Losing My Mind and Rock Your Body by JT. This is Last Resort by Papa Roach <laughs> and Rock Your Body by JT. Damn, I got it wrong. Yeah, I knew it was in that era. Yeah. I, yeah. Like those like WWE songs, mm. basically. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck! Oh my god, you know who you remind me of? Oh, who? Goddard from Jimmy Neutron. Fuck that. Wasn't that his dog? He was a robot dog. Oh yeah. Yeah. I remind you of Goddard. Yeah. He was a loyal companion. He was a robot. I know, you just look like him. It's not really about personality. Because I got a sharp jawline? Yes. Pour me up a stiff one, DJ Grant. Bow in the presence of greatness. Cause right now that has the sickness. Oh yes. I don't know either of those. It feel like a bomb went off in my head. <laughs> They're like contradicting each other so that I can't even think about one or the other. They're contradicting each other so. Proust. <laughs> Proust <laughs> did such a horrific mashup. Damn, this one broke Graydon. This one broke me. You gotta hotwire that little brain of yours. God, dude. Other games like can make you look dumb, but this one's gonna make me look like bad. It's gonna make you look forgetful. That's all. Yeah. Nothing wrong with being a little forgetful. Fuck! This one you could have played me a second, I would have gotten it, I think. It's like the one of the biggest Kanye songs of all time. And the song underneath seems to have guitars in it. So it could be a band. God, this is like watching Sherlock Holmes. 
Watson, I got a hunch. <laughs> There's a band in this one. Three, two, one. Stronger and float on. I put Good Morning and Casey Jones. <laughs> yeah, this is Stronger it's... by Kanye West and Float On by Modest Mouse. Yep. It's going to be really hard to pick my ego back up off the ground after that one. That was bad, bad, bad. That I was... used to be able to play the solo from Float On. Oh, yeah? It's kind of an easy one to play. Because it's well, I mean, like good. when I was a child, I yeah. learned it and I thought I was cool. Were you going to tell your children when they learn things? Like, oh, that's pretty easy. <laughs> <laughs> I will. It's Thanksgiving. I'm like, yeah, great. You drew a turkey. It's like the first thing you draw. Who cares? <laughs> Ooh, you got into brown. <laughs> oh, great. You got a master's degree. <laughs> what do you mean this is why your mother left me? Oh, I can't drink on Tuesdays and Wednesdays. <laughs> Tequila Tuesdays. Wacky Dad Wednesdays. <laughs> I mean, these th things not mean anything to you? It's Malort Monday, all right? <laughs> <laughs> I, love I gotta Mort. suck them down. I don't care if it tastes like erasers. I'm wasted. Shout out Malort. Shout out my Chicagoans out there. DJ, grant me the peace to accept the things I cannot change. <laughs> What you know about rolling down in the deep when you bring those numbers? Now we're cooking with oil. Free masked wolf. What do you know about rolling down in the deep? Um, I got a WWYD for you. What would you do if you showed up and your dentist had bad teeth? <laughs> Do you trust him? Yeah. I know plenty of doctors with cancer. My doctor's a cancer, and that's how I knew we weren't going to be compatible. I had mm -hmm. to switch doctors. <laughs> had to switch Much over. more expensive, but obviously worth it to, yeah. be, to work with a Gemini. Yeah. <laughs> it's just a compatibility thing. I mean, I added my doctor on CoStar. It said not much compatibility, especially in the communication <laughs> department category. <laughs> and uh, that's going to be important if I'm going to be going to you for all my bumps and bruises <laughs> and my worries. That's not what doctors are for. Uh, you can call them. They'll answer. Are there any hospitals out there that just have sexy nurses? Yes. Kind of like the Hooters of hospitals. A Hooters hospital? Yeah. <laughs> Guys and gals, like hot male nurses and hot female nurses. And that's the theme. Yeah. Like so you go there to be yeah. treated by sexy people. Oh, nice. Seems problematic and not really the point of a hospital, but I like <laughs> no, it. No, but... And I guess the point of a chicken wing restaurant isn't to look at boobs, but... <laughs> right, exactly. <laughs> so I guess there's... What are the rules? Mm -hmm. What's the doctor's name from Grey's Anatomy? Mick Hunky? Mick Dreamy? Mick, <laughs> Mick Hunky Ten. Yeah. Mick Hunky Ten? Mick Shirtless? I Mick Shirtless? <laughs> Mick Pop That Top Off? Mick Biceps? Seems like you. You got a rash. <laughs> I'd like to have Mick Hunky graze my anatomy. You know mm. what I mean? Three, two, one. Masked Wolf, Astronaut in the Ocean, and Toxic by Britney Spears. Bingo. Astronaut in the Ocean and Toxic, yep. That one was too good to even be true. We <laughs> happen to both be toxic. <laughs> That's true. And not Australian. I want to make that very clear. Okay. All right. Super clear for all the fans out there. I'm not Australian. Sure. Yeah. Nobody was really accusing you of being Australian. I've been accused in the past. Didn't I just see Vegemite in your car the other day? Grant, next song, please. Next matchup, please. Grant, let's go. Come on, please. Did you just say Crikey under your <laughs> breath? Crikey. I'll say it. Wow! Now that is the first one that I've seen really take it places. Yes. <laughs> now when he says, when I'm on stage, show me boobies, he's referring to breasts, correct? Yeah, correct, yeah. Again, it's like... It's like watching Sherlock Holmes piece it together. <laughs> now, when he says, show me boobies. <laughs> Wish I had a magnifying glass for those honkers, you know what I mean? Because they're so little? I don't know. I didn't think about it all the way through. Yeah. Three, two, one. I put Bohemian Rhapsody and Ghostface Killers. I put Bad and Bougie and Bohemian Rhapsody. Uh oh. It is Bad and Bougie and Bohemian Rhapsody. Ah, yeah. Picked one up. 10-7. 10-7, big niner. This is John Deere heading southbound on 75. <laughs> Just wanted to say on X is 222, we got coppers. Hey, Graydon, before we get into the next mar magnificent mashup, should we tell them about our sponsor? Come on, let's do it. That's right, guys. Today's video is brought to you by HelloFresh. Hello America's number one meal kit delivers mouthwatering seasonal recipes and pre-measured ingredients right to your door. It's fall, and you know what that means. It's time to fall in love with fall recipes. Oh, I get it. HelloFresh has you covered. Plus, take advantage of in-season fall produce to quench your autumn appetite. HelloFresh makes eating well so easy. Family-friendly, calorie-smart, pescatarian, and veggie options. Plus, every recipe comes packed with fresh produce. Yum, yum, yum. And that produce gets to you faster than it gets to the grocery store, which guarantees flavor and peak freshness. That's right. Hello 
HelloFresh also saves you time. Did you know that it takes an average of 41 minutes to go to the goddamn grocery store? That's too long. With HelloFresh, all you gotta do is take 30 minutes to cook a meal and then get right to enjoying. And if that's too long, there's also the quick and easy menu, which is only 20 minutes to prepare. Last night, me and Riley cooked up these one pan Santa Fe pork tacos, and I mean, my top busted right off my head. Squeezing lime juice all over these things is just one of the highlights of my week. Mm, I wish we could go back. <laughs> Say hello to Fresh and goodbye to all the old friends you left in the dust. They weren't good for you and you know it. Hey Riley, yeah? is there a way any of our viewers could like get some HelloFresh to try out? Oh yeah, and they could get it with a great deal. Go to HelloFresh.com and use code HiveMind14 for 14 free meals plus free shipping. It's on the screen right now, but HelloFresh.com. The code is HiveMind14, the name of our show and the number 14. 14 free meals plus free shipping for HiveMind fans right now. We wanna thank HelloFresh once again for sponsoring this video. Go to the description box right now and sign up for HelloFresh today. Eat good, feel good. All right, let's get back into the video. We're here. I'm in the I don't want to point, but I know the name of this mashup. This one is by Neil C. C. Orega, who is my favorite mashup artist of all time. Yeah. Absolutely hilarious. Always goes for the comedy angle. Yes, almost always some level of comedy within it, which is the point of this game, basically, yeah. for them to be funny. The best mashups are cheeky. Exactly. Three, two, one. Thousand Miles and Back in Black. Oh, it's called A Thousand Miles. I put Back in Black and Making My Way Downtown. Uh, this is A Thousand Miles by Vanessa Carlton and Back in Black by AC. DC. Referee, we need a Vanessa Carlton call. All right, we're good. Says you're good, yes. get the point. Um, and yeah, the song's called ACVC by Neil C. C. Urega. Like VC, like voice chat. Yes, exactly, Discord. That's so funny. How about this for a mashup? Mm. I'm going trash dark crazy. <laughs> Shout out Hyper Pop Daily. <laughs> HPD. Hyper Pop Police Department. Let's get the next one. Oh, day, pray them niggas go away. Oh, we sell the clowns around it, look like Circus Soleil. Ooh, this one's the toughest one so far. Yeah. I got one of them. I can't really pinpoint the rock. I would love to pinpoint the rock, though. See if how much blood comes out. Oh, you want to stab the rock with a sewing needle? Just with needle? a tiny little pin. What's up with you? It'll be fine. I just want to see like how much like how much blood comes out. Oh, why? I don't know. They look his muscles are so like inflated. Like he might and, bleed a lot. Yeah, like you it, just it, touch him. It's yeah, and then like eventually it starts like going back down to normal like attainable attainable beauty standards for yeah. men. That's sort of deal. Oh, so it's kind of righteous. Three, two, one. Put I Spy and Everlong by the Foo Fighters. I put I Spy and Paint It Black by the Rolling Stones. <laughs> this is I Spy and I Write Sins, Not Tragedies. Whoa! Panic at the Disco. How about that? Panic at the Disco is one of those band names that I feel like nobody ever really thought about. Everybody just accepted that's a band name. But like, <laughs> think about it. Yeah. A panic at the disco. Yeah. What does it look like for somebody to panic at a disco? Oh, I've seen it. This happy atmosphere, blah, 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 and then somebody took too much or something like that, and they're sweating, and they're in the bathroom, like cold water on their face at the disco. It's just like muted in the background. You have like... <laughs> oh, everyone knows I'm high. She's probably pregnant. She's pregnant. <laughs> DJ Grant, could you take me to the magical world of mashups once, one more time, yet again? Working through your worst night. If I get my money right, you know I will Tell you. Ooh, nanny, nanny. Ooh, nanny, nanny. I think I got it, but I don't, I don't, I might have the wrong song. <laughs> Three, two, one. Nights by Frank Ocean and Brand New Person, Same Old Mistakes by Tim and Paula. I put Nights and Always Moving Backwards or Always Going Backwards. Uh, this is Nights by Frank Ocean and Eventually by Tim and Paula. Ah, eventually. Dang. Yeah, yeah you're right. Like, Feels like I like only go backwards, baby. I, I honestly think we're doing worse than I thought we would be. Yeah, that's true. I've been stumped more times than I anticipated coming in, which is credit to DJ Grant and the amazing magical powers of music and the amazing memory erasing powers of marijuana. <laughs> Thanks, pot. Girl, you got me down, you got me stressed out. Since I left the city, you. Ooh, this one feels natural, like it should have happened. You know what I mean? When I'm a walking, I strap my stand. Yeah, I'm, I'm so strung, strung out. out. Three, two, one. Hotline bling and Wii Shop music. I put Wii Sports in Hotline Bling. This is Hotline Bling and the Wii Shop music. <laughs> <laughs> I guess Wii Sports. Isn't that, does that count? I don't know. No, I shouldn't get it because Wii Sports music is very different. Yeah, oh, is it? Yeah. yeah it is. Oh, okay, cool. 16, 12. Yeah. That's the code in my heart. You know that song? What? Six, one, two. 
The story of that song is that it's their it's Airbnb, Airbnb code. Yeah. Shout out Antoine Stanley. Wow. People will love that deep cut. Shout yeah, out to so. Peck. Oh, let's do it. T-bone me at an intersection. What the fuck? Intersection of sound and yeah. genre. Oh, no. I got it. Yeah, yeah, I guess it is an intersection. At the bottom of the ninth and I'm never gonna win this. Life hasn't turned out quite the way I want it to be. Amazing. <laughs> Amazing stuff. It would have been so much cooler if Nickelback was country. Yeah. You know what I mean? They already got like jean jackets and shop at Buckle and they're kind of dusty. Why not go full country like barn burners? Because they're Canadian. Yeah. You can't really go full country in Canada. No, because everyone's pretty country. Yeah. Everybody's got a wood stove. I think the hardest thing about being country in Canada is that you still don't have the voice. If you're country in America, it's like, how you doing? Yes, ma'am. Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. And if you're in Canada in the country, it's like, oh, oh I don't know. I, I'm going to go tame the cattle, huh? I'm gonna ride a horse. Oh, is this your tractor? Three, two, one. Rockstar and Rockstar. Oh, God. I put Nickelback, a song maybe called Liquor, and then <laughs> In Love with a Stripper by T-Pain, so. This is Rockstar by Post Malone and 21, yeah. and Rockstar by Nickelback. Yeah, yep, that makes sense. I just couldn't think of the Nickelback song. And I may, I guessed that maybe they had a song called Liquor. This liquor's got me down and bam, bam, bam. Yeah, that song's very country. And good. Yes. It's so good, though. Shh. Never said it was bad. She tried to demonize me. I told her, you can't, baby. I already got demon eyes. Mm. Got my finger in too many pies. I got demon eyes. Got my finger in too many pies? Yeah. People I hate when that. people say that. Yeah. Huh? He got his fingers in a lot of pies. <laughs> <laughs> we should open up a pie shop that just does like kind of ethnic entrees, oh, popular yeah. ethnic entrees from across the globe, but in pies. Oh, I like that. And we'll do it upon request. Swedish meatball pie, please. <laughs> got it. Spaghetti pie. Muscles a la mode. <laughs> um, y'all have one muffungo pie. But when I say that we tweak it all, uh oh. This is the first one I'm feeling like. I know both songs, but I just can't play them. Don't change the channel. <laughs> Three, two, one. Put Bobby Shmurda song and uh -huh. Creep by Radiohead. I put Bobby Shmurda dance and Hey There Delilah. Yeah, this is the Bobby Shmurda song and Let Her Go by Passenger. Really? <laughs> Who <laughs> thought to combine these two? That is awesome. Could you take drinks on planes before 9-11? Yeah. Back before 9-11, you used to be able to carry anything. You would have like, you didn't have to get travel size shampoo. You yeah. could take the full thing of shampoo. You could take a knife, a gun, a bunch of cigarettes. You could smoke them. Yes, yeah, staplers, whatever you wanted, really, you could have on there anthrax. But for me, just a two liter of Yoohoo, slam that back, watch like three episodes of Cheers, and all mm. of a sudden I'm in Tucson, Arizona. Yep, just like that. <laughs> Stab a guy at Terminal 6. <laughs> Didn't need to hear that one. Oh, this is cute. I like to piss myself asleep. On my one of my most recent plane rides, someone was causing trouble in seat 18, and they used the snack cart to block off the cockpit. And all the stewardesses stood on the other side, like ready to guard the pilot. But they were like trying to play it cool at the same time. But I knew what was going on. Really? Yeah, they blocked it off and they all kind of like, and then they like went over to man 18, seat 18, and they fastened him to the seat. Are you sure you weren't the man <laughs> in seat 18? Because you tend to do this. You'll tell a story and say it's about some crazy guy. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and then I'll hear the story from somebody else and it's about you. Yeah. Well, you don't know anybody on that flight. So as far as you know, is the man in seat 18. <laughs> Let's just say he can't fly in spirit ever again. <laughs> you know what security threats and people with clean apartments have in common? What's that? No fly list. Three, two, one. Fireflies and Redbone by Childish Gambino. Fireflies and Redbone. Fireflies and Redbone. Yes. Come on, baby. I was thinking Thundercat in my head. I was like, mm. what Thundercat song is this? And then, yeah. I like to make myself believe the planet Earth turns slowly. Yep. Man, is this the end of the game? This is the end of the game. Pot. That's what I'm blaming my loss on. I quit a few years ago, and so, I feel like it gave me the edge. Yeah, you restored a little yeah. bit. Shout out to my neurons. So let's get on to the last one. Dark moon, loud tones, like a nickel foul soon. That I'ma get fucked up, filling out my cup. I see the crowd move, changing by the minute. And the record will repeat. Took a sip, then another sip. Drip, boop, 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 it's a bad it's to be. All right. And that was the news. Sorry. <laughs> Three, <laughs> two. Let's do a handshake. Let's yeah, do a handshake yeah. and then this we'll... is for sportsmanship for all those young kids out there. This is how it's done at the end of the game. Even if you lose, you, you shake the fucker's hand. That beat you. <laughs> Three, two, one. Swimming pools and sugar crash by Eliado. Damn it! I put swimming pools in the Super Smash music. This is swimming pools and the Mario Kart music. Damn ah, it. yeah. <laughs> kind of 
Nintendo. Yeah. It was Nintendo. All right, I got 22 out of 28. He got 16 out of 28. Let us know how many out of 28 you got down in the comments. Thanks for playing along in the chat and in the comments. Like the video, subscribe, all that stuff I said at the beginning. And lastly, we'd like to thank our sponsor, HelloFresh. Hello Use code HiveMind14 and get 14 free meals plus free shipping. Check the description for all that stuff. Thank you again, HelloFresh. And Graydon, would you like to leave our wonderful watchers with some advice to leave or live their lives by? I would. Sometimes in this life, it is easier to plow around the stump than through it. All right, this has been Hive My TV. We love you, we appreciate you, and we'll see you in the next video. Bye. You're talking about blister in the sun. Blister in the sun. Let me go wide. Big know. hands, I know you're the one. Yeah. Bow, bow. When it was changing the